Hello guys. Can you guess who is overextending in this clip? Is it the Kane, who is trying to finish the Drake desperately? Is it the Jinx, who obviously forgot that she is in a DC and dies as soon as she spot an enemy in the corner of her screen? Or is it the Karma, that is trying to leave the upcoming fight at all cost, even though she knows well that she will get spam pinged by her mates when she doesn't contribute to it? Guess what, it's the underleveled useless bot lane that gets killed by a pure Akon. With his high mobility and high burst damage, he is able to dive into the enemy backline and one shot the carries. And can easily escape nope. from there. Enemies who try to chase Rock on will find themselves using all their abilities in the hope something will kill him. But the only thing that is going to die are they self. Oh by the way. The bot lane I engaged on at the beginning on the video got away. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Anyway. Rock on is a great engage support with the ultimate that can turn the entire team fight by just walking through the enemies and slip out quite easily by just clicking on an ally with the E spell. So this video is about normal support rock on. Psych. It's about a pure rock on mid. Well, I know that it sounds completely troll, because your job is basically the same as rock on support. You jump into a team fight. Try to charm the carries so your teammates can kill them. And jump out of the fight. The only difference is that a pure rock on deals way more damage. Which sounds great. But you lose some tankiness. Mana and other items that support your teammates. Also you have to stay on a solo lane with just two spells that actually deal damage. In a 1v1 situation. Your E spell is useless. But now you might be thinking there is no way you find an idiot that will play the stupid pick on the mid lane. Guess what, I have found one. In fact. Some people even managed to climb all the way up to high elo with it. Here are the build and runes. And now I will show you. My personal experience with a Pirak on mid. Well the first important thing is that you don't care about the lane. In fact. Fuck the lane. When the enemy pushes the wave into your tower. You just don't care. When he freezes the wave in front of his tower. You don't care. When he gets all 5 platings. Good for him. You don't care. When he finishes the game because the mid lane was open. You don't care. Well actually you do care, but the most part of the early game you will be spending supporting your jungler in team fights and roam to other lanes to get them ahead. Nice. A pure Akon doesn't need CS to be useful, but let's start step by step. At level 1 you can feel free to go for a trip into the enemy jungle with your teammates. With your W spell. Rakan has a great knockup to engage, but it is even better as a follow-up spell when someone already hit a hook on a target. This should be enough CC to burst the enemy down. Back on the lane you can look for trades since level 1 will be the only fun part about the laning phase. You can jump with your W spell on the enemy, hit them twice, and proc electrocute. And go back before the enemy can deal some return damage. The good thing is that Rakan has a shield as his passive that can spare him some damage from the early game engage. It even get fully restored when you are out of combat for 5 seconds when the shield didn't get broken during the fight. Which rarely happens so don't rely too much on it. Most of the time you will see the 40 seconds cooldown countdown on the left right corner. The good thing is. Most people won't really try to dodge it since everyone underestimates the damage. Oh no. You both hit level 2. This means the fun time for a pure Akon is over. Congratulations. Even the cannon minions spread out more danger than you. Okay but before you start crying, put the second skill point into the Q spell. This is a great tool to poke the enemy down. No it's not. It has a 12 second cooldown and cost way too much mana. But with this ability you can use a new combo. You engage with your W spell again. And when Rakan knocked them up and while they are flying, you can use the Q spell for some damage since they can't dodge it in the air and add one additional auto attack to it to proc electrocute. But after your combo the enemy has quite a big time window where he can deal some damage. Luckily Rakan's Q spell give you some healing when you hit your opponent with it. Another minute passed and you unlocked a new achievement. Being totally useless. You can put a skill point into the E spell which can only be used on you ally. Meanwhile your laning opponent probably unlocked a new spell that probably does more things nope. than yours. So the 1v1 fight got even harder. Well from now on I would avoid fighting the mid laner until level 6. But there are two options how you can spend your time waiting for the glowing arrow above your ultimate button to appear. Plan A. You wait for your jungler to gank the lane. I am once again asking for your support. Rakan has a solid gank set up with his W and E spell. When your jungler engage you can just jump toward him by clicking the E spell and give him a shield. And with the W spell, you have a knockup which makes it easier to land other abilities. As I have already said most people underestimate Rakan's damage, so they won't use any of their summoner spell until it is too late. Wait why isn't that my kill? Well I have to take this one from you to get my 300 gold back. Plan B would be roaming around the map and look out for plays on different lanes. 
you can go for ganks like a typical mid laner, or you support your jungler. His high mobility makes it really easy to go to other lanes and catch the enemy off guard. Most of the time they can't escape thanks to the two abilities which are both great gap closers. Combined with the high damage no one is expecting you can easily get kills or steal some of them from your teammates. Oh look. A P useless rock and is evolving. A P useless rock and evolved into a P useful rock on because it unlocked his ultimate. From now on he has way more impact than before. Rock on's ultimate deals 100 AP damage at level 1 and increases his movement speed for about 75% which lasts for 4 seconds. It also has a charm effect on the enemy which slows them by 75%. But to get these two effects on the enemies, you have to touch them with your ultimate. So the only thing you have to do is, walking through the enemy and your job is done. Since you have a lot of mobility with your W and E spell, it isn't that hard to hit the enemy with it. Worst case you can still use your flash. Anyway. Since you were useless the past 5 minutes most people are starting to underestimate your pick and are more likely to take stupid fights. Most of the time they will find themselves lying on the ground asking what the heck just happened. This fizz for example got caught completely off guard thinking that he can just fight me inside my own minion wave. He didn't even use his W spell to dodge my knockup. So Fizz found himself back, being charmed and killed right after. Some of them even think they can use my own ultimate against me. I am going to show you how this spell is used properly. Okay it didn't work either. Well let me kill you with my basic combo. W into Q. But it's not only a great tool to surprise your laning opponent with it. Your ganks are getting even more effective since now you can press the R button and just walk through the enemy. When they are charmed, Rock On uses his W spell which you can't miss at this stage of the game and ensure some additional damage and some time for your teammates to kill them. Or you use it the other way around. Engage with your knockup as gap closer to charm the enemy right after. In both ways they will be surprised how much damage a P Rock On deals, but since his spell are on a high cooldown, the only thing you can do after your engage is shielding your allies and wait until your cooldowns are up again. Since you are building a P, your shield is even getting stronger. So it is a win, win scenario. As a first item you want to get Rocket Belt since it has an active that give Rock On the ability to dash nope. forward which ensure him nope. to get the enemy into his spell range. Why are you running? So it is another great tool that works as a gap closer. Additionally it also gives your champion more AP and ability haste. Thank god. Now I don't have to wait 10 hours until my spells are up again. For the next item we don't buy boots. No. Rock On doesn't need those because he already has enough drip. There is something better called damage. Just buy death cap and see the enemies disappearing form the screen. That's way better than a bit additional movement speed since Rock Ant can get out alive out of many stick situations. Oh my god, since when does the bot lane deal so much damage before the 30 minute mark? Bane help me. Bane please come to the wall. Bane I need your help. Thank you. I might be safe now. Close enough. Time for revenge. Well it's time to move on into the late game where it is more likely that team fights occur most of the time on the mid lane, and most of the time without any reason. You guys stole our cookie. No we didn't. In that case Rock On's main goal is to use all his spells to one shot the enemy carry. With Rocket Belt, Flash, W or the E spell, which all can be used as gap closers Rock On has no difficulties to jump over terrain or cover a great distance. With his abilities he is able to deal enough damage to scare them off, but the most important part is to hit your ultimate. When the carry is charmed you create a time window where your team can follow up and burst the enemy down while he is not able to defend himself. Well he is in a DC, so he also can defend himself under normal circumstances, but whatever. Since you used all your engage ability your purpose in the team fight changes. You can now save your allies with your shield, which gets even stronger when you build a P items just like the heal of your Q spell. The handy thing about the healing of the Q spell is that it can be shared with your teammates. When you hit someone with your Q spell, it takes about 3 seconds until the healing effect does it works giving you some time to move to your allies and share the healing when they standing nearby you. When your engage spell is up again, you can just go back in and lock an enemy target. And when the enemy hyper carry isn't a big deal, you can just try to hit as many players as possible with your ultimate to make them useless for a few seconds. I mean, who wouldn't fall in love with this handsome guy? And when you guys want to play a brain dead jungler that has a fast jungle clear and doesn't need any skills while ganking, click on this video right here 